Hi beautiful people! How are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative, just like that edible floral bouquet. So for today, I'm going to share with you a very easy blossom or filler that you can use for your cakes. And it's so extraordinary. So this is a very easy oleander flower. See that? It's very pretty. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Okay, so right now we will be making the Adelpha flower or commonly known as oleander. So I have here a paste that's very light pink. So you only need 1.5 centimeter for the bud, okay? So gently knead and massage first. And then smoothen it out on your palm, just like so. Make one end pointed, okay? And then you need to dab cornstarch on top. And then using your barbecue stick or a toothpick, you need to create a hole at the center, just like so. And then you need to dab cornstarch again, okay? And then using your scissors, you need to cut. So you should cut at least a half centimeter deep. You need to cut five petals, okay? So after that, you need to open. So you'll see that it's a bit thick. It should be that thick because we will do something with the petal. So it's similar to the ordinary blossom, but the center is different, okay? So using your ball tool, the smallest ball tool, just press on the center so that it would be deeper. Okay, just like so. And then, you need to lean your scissors. Okay, sorry, it's out of focus. Okay. So you need to cut. Just like that. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Need to cut another one. Okay, four. And then five. Okay, so it should have those spike-like appearance. Okay, you see that? So what you do now, uh, you need to put this on a foam pad and then we will flat the petals more, okay? So dab cornstarch, dab cornstarch on the paste also. And then using your medium-sized ball tool, we need to thin out the petals, okay? So you gently pull going out. So it should be longer, not circular, okay? So this is a bit different from the ordinary blossom. See that? Okay. Okay, so this is what we will have. And then what you need to do next, you need to cut the sharp things that we did earlier we need to cut it more okay so this will be like the fibrous hairs see that and then using your ball tool again you need to make this deeper okay and then i have here a green wire number 28 okay so what i will do i will dip the end on edible glue so for the edible glue it's on the description box below and then I'll dip this on my gelatin mix with color yellow luster dust. So I'll put this on the description box also. And then we need to insert at the center. Okay. And pull it down straight and then lock. Okay. So just press, 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 and press. Okay. And then what we need to do, you need to pinch the petals and move it a little bit. Okay, just like so. Okay, and then later we will dust after it is fully dry, okay? Okay, so right now we will be making the buds of the oleander flower. So you need to create small circles, so different sizes. So this is around uh, half centimeter and then um, 0.7 centimeter and then 1 centimeter. Okay, so basically, no need to loop. You just insert it on one end, okay, and then smoothen out 
the inner part so it should be like a cotton bud okay and then you need to make the other end very long and sharp okay just like so and then using your scissors you need to cut okay but you don't have to continue the cut you just need to create a marking okay see that there's a mark and then need to do it on the other side also just like so and then gently twist so this is what you'll have okay so you just need to repeat the process on the other sizes and then we are done okay so right now we will be making the leaves of the oleander flower so basically i have here a round ball around one centimeter so as if you're just making a blossom okay you just need to elongate and attach it to the wire no need to loop okay and make one end very pointy okay so i'm just twisting and twisting okay see that so it should be elongated just like so okay and then you need to flat this with your thumb and your finger okay just like that see that it should be flat okay so as long as you can flat it with your finger the better you can also flat this on the foam pad using a ball tool but i prefer pinching it because it's easier okay and then after that okay, that signals the chicken so we have to put it on our leaf veiner okay just like so and then gently press okay and then you'll have something like this so you need to make the ends more pointed okay and then let this dry and then later we will assemble already okay okay so right now all the flowers and the buds and the leaves are fully dried so we'll need to dust the flower first so basically um you just need to dust out pink on some areas okay not all the parts of the flower okay so you see that see the difference i just added a very thin blush of pink on one side of the petal because if you look at the real flower it's not all pink okay so there are like parts that has blush okay so i'm using a makeup brush because it's more finer and then the center should be darker so for those hair like strands what you need to do i have here a liquid color red i diluted with water but it's better if you'll be using gin or vodka because it dries faster okay so we just need to get very little reds okay and you need to paint the ends okay you see that okay so i'm just painting parts okay it's out of focus uh, you see that okay so we just need to paint this with red strikes okay see that it's going out of focus but yeah basically you just need to paint reds on the inner part okay just like so and then usually what i do some of the ends here i just put some very light dots of red okay so that to make the petals appear more natural so i'm just putting dots here very little okay just like so okay see that it's very pretty so i'll be adding more pink on this part Okay, to make it more natural just like that okay and then for the buds so what you have to do you need to dust the end part darker okay see that so you need to dust the end part darker just like so and then the inner part it should be darker also Okay, so it should be like this. See that? Okay, so right now we will assemble the flowers, the buds, and the leaves. 
So we have to start first with the flower buds. So the smallest should be a little bit on top. Okay, just like so. And then you need to bind them together with your floral tape. As you see here, I left the space around 2 cm, okay? And then after that, you need to attach your flower already. So when you're adding a flower, you need to bend the wire first, okay? And then wrap with floral tape. And do the same with the other. Okay, so gently bend. Then wrap with your floral tape. And then we need to add our leaves. Okay, same procedure. Bend. Okay, and then we wrap with our floral tape. We add another. And then wrap with floral tape. Okay. So you need to wrap this until the very bottom so that it will be very clean. Okay. And then after that, this is the only time that we arrange the buds. So we need to pull them a little far from one another but not too far okay just like so and there you have it this is your oleander flower so normally um just a tip you can actually color the leaves darker using a gel color and let it dry so that once it's fully dry it's a little bit shiny but not too much okay so there you have it. This is your very pretty and very easy oleander flower. Mm -hmm.